Alright, this is just like another little demo video of Lime, but this time for multiplayer. And the tool does support single player multiplayer on zombies, like, I suppose all of them. Uh, let me just start it. It is almost finished, so there's like a few little things left to do, and then I'll be ready for release. Um, in the multiplayer engine, uh, Track and place over swaps is pretty much not needed. Like it's different to the zombie engine, it doesn't really do much swapping out of models. A lot of the models are just all loaded. Also, in the main menu, all the weapons are loaded, which is quite helpful if you want just the weapons. So we list them as 249, and obviously you can see all the weapon models here as well. So I'm just going to load them, and then I'll just export them all. It will be a bit faster than this uh, on the when it's released. It's in a debug mode at the moment. <coughs> so it's supporting all that. All right. Okay. Uh, I'll just open some up. Uh, So it's got its textures, material, material names, blah blah blah, as usual. Joints, etc. And you can bind it as well. Uh, like. Why can't I select it? There we go. Anyway, yeah. uh, one update I've also made is that. Um, by default, all weapon models in Black Ops 2 have a mesh on the side, it's like a square that's used to put your emblem on and like clan tag. The texture for this material is actually just like a font texture. So obviously at runtime the engine will use that font texture and use a shader to create it into text. But obviously it looks naff, it's just the entire font texture on the side of the weapon. So what I did is I update the tool to detect that mesh and remove it automatically from the model so you don't have to take it off manually for every single model. You could just make an invisible texture but uh, I just removed it. Uh, I'll just show a few more. SMG. This grid's a bit annoying. <coughs> okay, so let's just clear them. Uh, if you want to support a maps model, so you can go in an online game if you so wish, but uh, a custom game is easier because obviously you're like you're just by yourself and sort of thing. I oh, will just load up hijacked. Doesn't really matter what map, but the tool works exactly the same if it's a public match or a private hosted game. It makes no difference. So the map's loaded, so we can just we don't have to spawn in like we could if you want, but we'll be able to get them all without spawning. I just gotta load all them and then click at spot all, and it will go and spawn them. I suppose you could go around and shoot shit while you wait for it to spawn. I'm not so sure if there's any models that are cool. I know it's finished. Just refresh that. Uh, Treadmill. So look at that, just randomly. If you're making a map about a gym, that'd be pretty useful. Don't 
Some sort of pipe. <coughs> okay, also we had a for it support all on, we had a add to GDT, so it's been added to this GDT. So I'm just gonna close the program. So obviously now that's finished. And then I'm just gonna open the GDT. So every model with it supported is in here. The prefix of block ups to uh, automatically. You can change that in settings if you wish. And then all the materials are in here as well. Uh, where you've got like uh, normal maps. GGAs and DDS for color maps. It will also automatically set the uh, blend functions and stuff like that. Uh, I don't I can't really find one that is. Oh, there was one there. Yeah, so the minigun ammo uses a blend. We open that. So obviously that's got alpha in the image. So the program's detected that and um, set the blending mode so it will convert correct. Uh, the tool will also feature uh, an auto conversion for the GDT so that you could do convert all assets but the problem with this is um, if you've not got the GDTs for all your assets uh, converter will actually just delete stuff that's, uh, that you've converted previously so I created a tool that will run through all these models and materials and convert them for you at once without deleting all the your previous assets that you've created which is kind of annoying like lot, uh, all the LODs are set, LOD distances and stuff like that and whether it's animated or not uh, that's an animated model A yoga map that's pretty cool Do a bit of yoga. I think this one's got a This one's got a texture problem. Like I've got a few little, like the other three or four models don't have will have texture problems. But I'll sort that like today. It's one of the little things left to do. But ninety-five percent of them, or probably more than that. Have textures fine. Uh, so that's it for now.